Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Zhang, and I am an ophthalmologist and oculoplastic specialist. I may or may not be your doctor. This video is intended just for educational purposes. But I do have a lot of questions that my patients ask, and so I like to make these videos for my, both my patients and just for anyone else who has the same questions. So one of the questions I get asked is, what is macular degeneration? So macular degeneration, or age-related macular degeneration, ARND, as the full name, is the condition of the retina. There are two stages. There are wet macular degeneration and there's dry macular degeneration. People typically start with dry macular degeneration and some people stay dry and never progress to wet and then some people progress to wet macular degeneration. Dry macular degeneration does not currently have any treatment other than taking what's called the ARADS vitamins. Preservation is an example of these vitamins. If you are a smoker or have been a smoker, there is a different formulation for smokers. So you do want to pay attention to the packaging. But since it is a vitamin, it is over the counter. So what does dry macular degeneration entail? So basically, we're looking at two findings on the retina. So this is what's called a fundus photograph, and it's a picture of the back of the eye. This is your retina. So this is the optic nerve. This is your right eye and this is your left eye. So here's your optic nerve on each side. There are blood vessels and we call these the arcades. And then here between the superior and inferior arcade is what we call the macula. So that's the center of your vision. This is an eye that has macular degeneration. These yellow spots here are what's called drusen. And so drusen can be large, they can be small, they can be soft, they can be hard. This particular photograph has a lot of drusen. And there's also what's called RPE changes. RPE stands for retinal pigment epithelium. And there can be RP clumping. Um, so the, the black kind of clumping here. And so this is an eye that has dry macular degeneration from the look of it. What wet macular degeneration is, is when there's fluid that develops in the eye. And so there is treatment for wet macular degeneration by injection of anti-VEGF medications in the eye. These are things like Avastin, Lucentis, Ilea, uh, and there are other um, ones coming out. So the purpose of those injections is to dry up the fluid so that the fluid goes away and hopefully the vision gets restored. So typically wet macular degeneration is considered worse than dry macular degeneration. However, dry macular degeneration can result in something called geographic atrophy. So you can still lose vision with just dry macular degeneration as well. People with macular degeneration still typically have normal peripheral vision because while the macula is the center of vision, the peripheral vision, which is kind of outside the borders of this photograph, it, um, the eye is round and so, uh, you can actually, you know, it, it continues to extend all around, and that is typically not affected in age-related macular degeneration. Macular degeneration does tend to run in families. It tends to be more prominent among Caucasians or people of European descent, and it is more common as you get older. This is one of the reasons why as you get into your later decades, it is good to have a yearly annual eye exam that's dilated, so your ophthalmologist or optometrist can actually look for things like macular degeneration. So again, for dry macular degeneration, there's no real treatment other than taking the ARADS vitamins. And those vitamins have been shown to decrease uh, progression and vision loss. Once you get to wet macular degeneration, then there is treatment to dry up the, what's called edema or the fluid that's in the retina to hopefully restore the vision. And that's really important. So if you do have macular degeneration, it's important to monitor your vision with something called an Ampsler grid. So this is an Ampsler grid. And here's normal Ampsler grid. It really just looks like a grid. Sorry for the low resolution. I just grabbed this off the internet. And if you have macular degeneration that goes from dry to wet, then you're going to see some distortion. So like here, where the lines are no longer up, down, left, and right, it's no longer a grid. Or you may see some of the lines just totally gone. 
And if you see that, you need to get in to see your ophthalmologist right away so you can get referral to a retina specialist and get treated with one of these anti-VEGF medications in order to get rid of that fluid so that you have the best prognosis for getting your vision back. So I hope that was educational and useful information for you to know. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also find out more about me at www.dreilid.com. If you are in the Northeast Ohio area and are looking for someone to take care of your eyes, I'd love to have you as a patient. Thank you.